Hello everyone, this is MopBot, this is my Medieval Let's Build. In this episode I'm going to be showcasing the church as well as building the cemetery. So let's go ahead and look at what I've already done. So behind me is the church, and this is the thing that I've already done, obviously. Uh, the cemetery is going to go right about there, to the left of the building. This is really hard to do in F5 mode. Let's get out of here. And look at what we've got so far with the church. So the road comes up um, right here, and then it's just up this cobblestone staircase here. And the front door is there, and then it wraps around back here as well, and it goes around this little nature area. And then the road uh, also continues off in that direction, or it, it will when I start to put buildings over here. So the outside of it is pretty simple. Um, it definitely holds true to the medieval style. Uh, the cross on the back I'm not so sure about. Uh, it looks kind of derpy from the inside as well. Um, but the cross on the top, again, it's, it's sort of a derpy cross. It's very, very big compared to the rest of the building, um, which almost looks kind of weird. And also with the glass below it and the dark uh, ceiling, it looks like the cross goes straight through um, the building. And it probably looks even more like that on YouTube. So let's hop inside here. And nice spruce doors I've been using on just about every other build uh, in this. The inside is very small, um, very simple as well. It's not super extravagant. Um, and it's also just using the outside uh, to kind of decorate the inside. And what I mean by that is it's the same blocks. I didn't add too much more to the inside, except for a few um, logs here and there. Otherwise, I think everything's pretty much the same. Um, so let's look at this. So you come in here, let's open the doors, and you can see that cross in the back is actually just a continuation of this path. And that's why it looks sort of derpy uh, in, in my perspective, I guess. Uh, it's also a lot lighter than everything else, but I mean, I wanted to make it stand out, but I might have made it stand out too much. So I'm not sure how that one looks. Um, but the rest of the the kind of main stand up here, I really like it. I like using the side logs here. And then the cobblestone walls fit into this build uh, really quite nicely. And then, of course, the stone brick on both sides here. Using the red carpet for the, the pew section, uh, which I think that really worked. I think it looks really, really nice with this spruce wood. And uh, that's probably my favorite part of this build. And um, also carried up these cobblestone walls here that go straight up. So this pillar up here continues all the way down to here. And then it even kind of matches this arch right here. And that goes along in every side uh, where there is one of those pillars. And then just the occasional torch as well. Uh, just kind of for lighting because I'm playing in moody. And uh, the lighting is fun to play with. And the only like negative side to playing in moody is that you need lots of light um, in order to have a bright build. So let's close those up. Um, instead of just opening one and then closing it right away. And the cemetery, like I said, is going to go over here. And I think the way to get up to it is going to be a little staircase right here. Um, I, I'm going to sort that out uh, in a little while. I want to get the thing built first. I want to build it on this flat terrain back here. Uh, this area, let's get out of uh, theater mode so that you can see what's going on here. So, of course, I want to build the cemetery uh, right next to the church. Um, even in present day, that's kind of um, how they work at least around where I live and many places I've visited. Uh, I'm just going to clear out a lot of this grass, and I'll, I'll put it back at the end to give it that kind of uh, overgrown feel to it. I just want a kind of level playing ground, I guess, uh, something to build on that's pretty flat. That'll be a lot easier to work with, and just clear out the last bit of this here, and then we'll start putting it in. So I'm going to start with the walls. I think that might be the easiest, and I'll probably have to change one or two uh, to, in order to fit uh, enough tombs in there. And the tomb... <laughs> The tomb might look a little weird. Um, took me a long time to try to figure out what I want to do for it. Let's just clear out this going all the way back here. I was trying to consider like doing different like levels uh, to the place. So have like a couple blocks going up uh, for some parts and then have like a mausoleum at the top. And I might do that yet, but I'm not going to do that to start with. Now that I think I've got uh, plenty of area, let me just do a little landscaping, a little uh, terraforming here. And, eh, I'm not the best at this on, uh, on Q. That, um, that should work, kind of. It's not going to go that far back. It's probably just going to go up to here. Probably one block behind the church will be good. So, like, to there. And I want to start it maybe right... I don't want to start it, like, even with the church. I want to have it kind of offset. So, I think right there will be good. And let's grab the blocks that we're going to be using uh, for the kind of outside gate. I'm going to be using cobblestone for sure and stone brick for sure. And then probably some stone brick... Not the right button. <laughs> some stone brick stairs. And then I want to grab some iron bars as well. So where are these guys? Here they are. And I might... Mm, I might find a use for anvils in the wall. That 
could look pretty cool. Let me just start by kind of marking out where I want to go. So I'm just going to go right like this. And I still want to go to this block. So let's just put that back. And then dig over here. And yeah, we'll go right about here. It'll be a slightly small cemetery. But like I said, I'm going to be adding a mausoleum at some point. So that will look um, pretty good, I think. Um, I think I should mention as well, this is my first uh, let's build on this world where I'm actually building on camera. Um, in fact, my first actual build, my let's build on camera uh, on my channel, which is pretty exciting. Um, I kind of have the hang of what I want to do. Uh, that's it. Oh, I already have the stairs. All right. So I'll do that to get in, and then we'll have like some path or something that comes up uh, from up here. Uh, that just kind of like played real nicely because the terrarium was already like that, and that's what I kind of want to follow. Um, so I'm going to go like this, and then like that. And then we'll go with maybe two up right here of cobblestone. And then just kind of alternate. We'll go, th well, because I need to have that there. And then that there. Um, so I think that'll actually be fine. Uh, let's just bring this out and then we'll see where we want to split this side up. I know it's kind of dark as well. Um, but that's, again, just part of the moody lighting. I'll grab some torches and start plopping those around here. Uh, these are probably not going to be the final location of them. This is just where I'm going to put them uh, for now. Maybe it will be. I don't know. But let's see, three, three, we'll push it back one more block so that we have like a two and then a three uh, and then a two. So it's not symmetric in the sense of each side, but it will be symmetric uh, as in this side will follow that side. So it's not going to be completely derpy. Uh, so we'll go one, two, three, and then up like this, and then two more there, and then that'll go up, and then one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, and two more there. And then let's just chuck in these final torches going around on top of the cobblestone. All right, so that's a good start to it, I think. We'll punch out these for now and put the grass back. And then we'll start mixing in some other things along here. Um, this might look OK. If I put two and well, because an the thing about anvils is you usually need blocks like uh, up like that to make them look like natural. So maybe that's not the best part uh, to put them on. Maybe right there. That's not too bad, I guess. Yeah, let's do that around. Uh, let's quick get those in, and then I'll be right back. OK, so this is what it looks like with the anvils. And here's what it looks like with iron bars. So this is my other option. And I don't know which one I like more. I definitely like them both. Um, but I'm kind of leaning towards the anvils, because I don't think this just provides enough. Like, these are like their nice thick black. Uh, it works really well with everything else. And the iron bars, the color blends nicely. Um, but it just feels like there's not enough there. Like, there's not enough bulk to them. So I think I'm going to stick with the anvils. And let me just punch out these last couple bars here. Uh, and you can see what the whole thing looks like with anvils. I, I really do think it looks good. I didn't see what the whole thing looked like with iron bars. But I think that's also kind of what everyone does with the iron bars. Um, and I wanted to try something new. I think the uh, the anvils here, they work. They work. I, I definitely think they work. Maybe right here I could do something different, like in the corners. It looks kind of weird, uh, but I think it works. I still want to use the iron bars, though, and I want to use those for an entrance gate. Um, so I uh, edited the steps a little bit and also brought out the land just a little bit further. And what I want to do is like a little, like a gate. And I want to make it look open. So if I do this, it looks like, yeah, so it looks like, so you already got that going out there. Like, that's the solid part of the fence. And then you've got this gate part here that opens up, um, like it's swinging out that way uh, to actually let someone in. I think that I think that works pretty good. Um, I could actually even, ooh, idea. How does this look? That looks strange. Let me bump up the cobblestone so it'll attach to that. And then check a torch on there. Yeah, that looks... Let me try getting a more round top. If I just do these center two, how does... Oh, that's too skinny. One more. There we go. And that side. I like it. I like that a lot. Yeah, it's that... I like. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I've got to say. I like. Um, I'm going to start putting in some tombs. And I want to have the path come right around like this way. And then come over here. And I'm just kind of punching out random blocks right now uh, so I can put in like a beaten path. I use these all the time in Pentacraft. I I, I just think they work, you know. So I don't want to use a monster egg. Uh, let's grab some actual stone brick that's cracked. And I want to grab some gravel and maybe some andesite. I don't know how andesite 
uh, looks in this texture pack, at least with compared to everything else. Gravel might actually be too busy. Andesite might be better. Andesite looks closer to the like like the regular gravel. Well, it's kind of bluish actually. Let's just dot a few about and we see how we look. Um, no, I think it works. Let's put in a few pieces of gravel here and there. Uh, there, there. Maybe one more down here. And then I'll just chuck in a stone brick uh, every couple of blocks. And eh, maybe that doesn't fit too well because that almost still seems too blocky uh, even though it's kind of chopped up. And we'll take that one out there. Maybe put that there. Eh, not that block because we got one right there. Uh, we'll put it right there and then move the gravel there it's random but it's not random it's like pseudo randomly that kinda works this is too far out that's for sure let's put that there and then I just want something to connect that up so we'll use maybe another piece of andesite there and then how about I think I've got enough cobble in there let's try another brick there. There, I think that's going to be good for a path. Yeah, I think that's nice. And then maybe we'll even, like, come up here and put, like, a mausoleum back, like, in this area. Uh, but that, like I said, will be at a later point. Or maybe I'll do that in between episodes. And one thing I want to say about um, the episodes, I know it's been a long time um, since I've done <laughs> the last one. It was probably about a month ago the last time I did one of these Let's Builds. And it's basically just because I haven't had a lot of time to record recently, so I've been prioritizing Redstone and Pentacraft, which is really what my channel's about. I'm much more of a Redstoner than I am a Builder. I'm looking for Cobblestone Wall. Where is that? Um, so, here we go. So yeah, I, I really like the series. Don't get me wrong there. Like, this is really fun to make. I, do, I, I enjoy building, um, as really I think any Minecrafter does. But yeah, it's just... Um, does connecting make it look? That'll be fine. Um, but yeah, so it's just not my main content, which is why I had to prioritize other stuff. Um, when I get more recording time, which is hopefully soon, I definitely will be bringing back the series probably once a week. Um, it'll probably be just a little bit longer before that happens, though. And let me punch out a few blocks so it looks separated from the path a little bit better. And I'm just going with the the um what is this coarse dirt coarse dirt and the cobblestone wall to make it look like it is a tomb so that looks like it was like dug up and then put back on once the body was in there i could even uh, this would be this is weird here let me find a a skeleton head let's pop one of those down in there find a little surprise in each one of these uh here we go and the last one here Oh, I have idea. That gave me a good idea. Okay, with this one? No, which one? I'll do it with this one. I'll leave it uncovered. I think that could be pretty cool. This should be like a placeable bone. Like, you should be able to place bones down. That'd be awesome. And then I'll just leave like a little dirt mound. Oop, that connects. Uh, I'll just leave a little dirt mound like right there. So it looks like you had to like fill it back up. <laughs> That's fun. Let me turn this one this way. I like that better. And just because I'm weird like that. Oop, wrong block. Oop, broke the wrong block. Yeah, okay. So that's the one that we still had to... Um, let's put that back. Why, why is that gone? This is the one that we still have to uh, have to put back. Grab the shovel, you know. Alright, so does this pass still look uh, good with everything else? Now that it's a lot skinnier to go this way... Oh, there's a separation here. Crack stone brick. Here we go. Didn't have one of those over there. I think that was just because of the when I was getting rid of some of them. Let's make it skinnier here too. And then do we still have enough andesite in here? Yeah, we still got three blocks of it. That's good. We could even no. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bother with it. Mm, no, I need a block there. Cobblestone will be better than whatever I had. I don't remember what I had. Maybe it was crack stone brick. This part gets a little skinny, but also the dirt's here, so that could be kind of like the reason for that, like it's blocking that block there. And we could even make it just come straight back here. I think that works. I want to add one more, I think. Let's do one here. Uh, where's the coarse dirt? There. And that'll work. 
So that's a little graveyard. This still looks very... Let me try with just gravel. Because I, I feel like it's just pulling away. Because the coarse dirt is generally used when you're, like, doing, like, broken paths like this. And so it almost feels like those aren't even tombs. That they're just, like, part of the path. So let me just try putting some gravel in here. And then just leaving some of the uh, regular blocks in there. The, the dirt that's already there. I think that'll probably be good. There, there, and we'll punch out that one and do that. Uh, there. It connects to the path, though. It connects there, too. Um, this is hard. Well, it can connect there fine. And it doesn't look too bad, I guess. There, I think I'm satisfied with this. Change that to that. And even add one more there. We just need more bulk to the path, which is kind of hard with how much space I left myself. I think this works. I think this is better than what I had. Yeah, let me know which one you like better. And also, actually, let me know what you like better here, too. Because I'll completely like be willing to change these to the iron bars. Okay, let's just work on now a way to get up here. So we have this entrance here. I'll probably carry the, um, the gravel. Uh, coming out too, right up to the staircase, which would be like here. And I think that'll be pretty good. And let me extend it back just a little bit so it looks like it's kind of a round path uh, versus just like coming off in a square. I think that'll be better. That might be too far. And we'll come off one there too. Okay, so let's just cut away the mountain a little bit here, and then we'll put it back once we get the staircase in. I think that'll be easier than trying to work around what's already here. Okay. So we'll cut out these three blocks, and then we'll just make it a three-wide staircase. And I was using cobblestone and cobblestone stairs for the place. So, whoops. And we'll just go like that. Oh, man, this... I don't want to make it too... too square. I don't just want it to go up and then turn. I want it to kind of curve. We'll curve it right here. This is going to be... Oh, that's too close. We're going to curve it down here. And right like this. And that. And then... Should we turn it into a two-wide? Yeah, let's turn it into a two-wide path here. Oop, falling gravel. I'm going to have to adjust the path a little bit. That wasn't close at all. I wonder if I make it... Would I be able to do this? Yeah, I would. Okay. Let's turn it right here again. And we'll just go like this. And we'll, we'll have dirt there. And then we'll turn it here as well. I think that'll be good. Maybe put a block of cobble there. Ooh. To three white again? No, I'll cut back this so I can continue with my three wide path. Because the three wide, it just worked, you know? So we'll fill in those, and then, let's see, we need this to be gone, and we will put this here, and change that to that. And this is where it'll be, too. Oh, come on, please line up. Are you kidding me? Really? You're going to be this way? This is how we do? Uh, no. Okay, we're going to fix that as soon as I fix some of the stuff around here. That's kind of a cool feature, how it, how it like bleeds out like that. Let's even just change some of these so we can extend that. Cut back one of those, I think. That's nice. And we'll pop these blocks out now because they're kind of useless. And we'll take that one out as well. We'll get some dirt in here. So it just kind of carries the same pattern that we have above. And that's just with the side of the mountain being how it is. All right, is that it? Oh, no, there's just this little part here. I think this is andesite. I can't even tell anymore. Stone. Okay. And we'll finish off this part as well. There we go. Nope, not, I just completely failed. That annoys me. <laughs> okay, that looks better. Except what are we going to do here? Well, alright, I guess this is how we do. Now the gate doesn't make quite as much sense, but... 
Unless, can I pop it back here? Oh, that works. That works indeed. Yes, now it's an open gate. Now it makes sense again. Except that doesn't. Does that look... Oop. Oh. Oh. Well. Deal with it. <laughs> that, that, is, that is my response to that. It is deal with it. I'm just going to bone a meal up this area. So let's clear out my inventory again. And grab the bone meal. There we go. Chuck some down. Chuck some down there. Flowers will be good. I think flowers around a cemetery look really nice, really fitting, and we'll just chuck the rest of this stuff down here. I'm not going to do any tall grass around, well, no, I'm not going to do, uh, except for that one I just did on accident. I'm not going to do any in that one as well. <laughs> so if it happens, it happens, I guess. Uh, yeah, okay, let's fill in this out of the church here. And there we go. Except not, because Bone Mule just doesn't want to update right now. That is so strange. That has not happened to me before. Give it a sec. There it is. <laughs> I wonder if maybe it's just the tech. Oh, maybe it's just the texture pack not running to render it. All right, let's do that and just scatter some around here. And here, I think I'm gonna get rid of the flowers though. And I'm also not gonna bone meal every block, just occasional ones. I think that's as much as I'm gonna do. And I don't even know if it's gonna work. Punch that one out. And there's another flower hidden back there. And that should be good. I, I like it. That one was... That's funny. I like that. And then we got the path that comes straight up here. I'm not going to worry about this. Like this that I've been doing on the sides here with the stone brick and the uh, stone slabs. Just because of where it is. Like it's inside of a mountain. I think it almost like gives it natural retaining. And this is more like, like a driveway for the cemetery. As opposed to an actual like a road uh, that you might have out there. Let me. This this, this bothers me. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. I'm I must fix. I can't have this like this. I said deal with it, but I can't deal with it. Uh. Yes, yes, yes. Terraforming is good. And that will work. That's better. <laughs> that I I hate corner stairs like that. That just bugs me. And we'll bring that up as well to there. There. It fits, and I like. And the gate still works, so everything is all good. So, oh, yeah, my game's just being weird right now. Anyways, this has been MopBot. Where's the thing? Where's the thing? Now I'm going the wrong way. And I'm out.